Do rainy days and Mondays get you down? Maybe they don't have to. Hi there. I'm Cheryl Jones with Simply the Best Results. I'm a coach. I'm an author. Um, I am a trainer, a speaker. I'm a little bit of everything. But my main purpose is to help people feel better about themselves and be in control of their emotional state, which we really do have the ability to be in control of our emotional state. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We can't let little things like rainy days and Mondays get in the way of us feeling positive and being our true authentic self, which is a positive person. Rarely, if ever, is anyone born negative or born sad kind of thing. So today we're going to talk about what can you do to change your emotional state from something that's feeling irritated, frustrated, angry, whatever it may be, to something more positive and much more uplifting. And so we're going to use the example of feeling overwhelmed at work because very often external circumstances are what influence how we feel. And sometimes it's those external circumstances include people like our coworkers or our bosses. So our example today is going to be about being overwhelmed at work. And what I want you to think about, if that has been true for you, which it has been for many people, then what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to tune in to that time when you were fe feeling overwhelmed and like you couldn't get it all done. Okay. And it might not be today, but then again, you may be feeling it today. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'd like for you to do is think about it. And on a scale of zero to 10, I want you to think about where you fall. Zero is you have no overwhelm, no experience of that. And 10 is a very strong experience of that. Okay. So let me give you just a minute to check in with yourself. You may have to recall a previous time when you were feeling that way and just see where you were. What number would you give it? Did you give it a number? Great. So there's no right or wrong to the number. It's just a way for us to measure how far you've come, if we've created movement around that experience, okay? So if you're thinking about a past experience, we will be coming back to that experience and seeing how you feel about it after our, after we work together here. If it's a current one, we're gonna check, you'll be able to check in again and see what's changed, alrighty? So what we're gonna do is we're going to talk about being overwhelmed, what does that mean? And as we are tapping, on different parts of our body. And these are um, meridian points that Chinese acupuncturists and American, all acupuncturists use the meridians where the energy meridians cross and they make a difference because what happens is when we're under stress and things like that, our chi is, our chi, the energy that runs within our, in our bodies gets wonky, gets totally off track. So we're getting, gonna bring it back on track using this technique, okay? So if you'll repeat after me as we go through this process and tap where I tap, then we'll check back in at the end and see how you're feeling. I'm gonna take my glasses off for this because there's so many places on my face that I have to work around, alrighty? Okay, so let's begin here. Tap on the side of your hand, okay? This is what we call the karate chop point, alrighty? And repeat after me. Even though I'm feeling terribly overwhelmed at work, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm feeling terribly overwhelmed at work, there's so much for me to do. I love and accept myself just the way I am. Even though there is just so much work to do and not enough time, I love and accept myself just the way I am. Okay, now tap on your inner eyebrow where your eyebrow starts, okay, right there. And repeat after me. There's so much work to be done. Side of the eye, I will never get to it all. Under the eye, I'll never get caught up. There's just way too much to do. Under the nose, there's just so, so much to do. chin and the deadlines are approaching so quickly. Collarbone, I can't get it all done. Under the arm, there's just so much to do and I can't get it done. 
top of the head. I just want to quit. I want to run away. Inner eyebrow again. I feel overwhelmed and frustrated. Side of the eye. I'm angry that they asked so much of me. Under the eye. I wish I didn't care about it. Under the nose. There's so much to do. Chin. And I have no extra help to help me. Collarbone. I feel so overwhelmed. Under the arm. I'm ready for this to ease up. Top of the head. I'm ready for this to ease up. Still the top of the head. I'm ready for the overwhelm to pass so I can see clearly. Okay, take two deep breaths. Great. Now, check back in with yourself, check into your heart, and recall that same situation. It's either the current one that you're in right now or a previous one, and see if you're still on the same place on the chart, the intensity chart of zero to 10. Did you notice a change? Hopefully the number went down. Occasionally it goes up, but that just means that we've accessed what's really going on and we need to tap further. So I encourage you to try this anytime you're feeling overwhelm or frustration or irritation because it's going to alleviate some of that stress and anxiety and calm your central nervous system down so that you're able to think more clearly, prioritize, and get started on what needs to be done next. And that way you won't feel so much overwhelm. The reason we feel overwhelmed is it looks like everything is the same priority and it all must be done now. But when you get a clearer mind, when you get rid of some of the emotion that's attached to it, you're able to see what needs to be done next and move through it much more quickly. So I hope this has been helpful to you today. Be sure to check out some of my other videos that, that are on common things that everyone faces like procrastination, time management, can't sleep, those kinds of things. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me.